Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you this care package I got from EFparts.com. The owner sent me this B20 plug cover. It's going to replace that current polished silver one that I have already. Sent me a couple air fresheners for the car. And he also sent me that front camber kit. This is the EFparts.com camera kit. It's one that he produced exclusively for his company. It's made for the 88 to 91 Civics and CRXs. It'll also work on the 90 to 93 Integra DA models. Here I have a Skunk 2 camera kit. Let's get this opened up. Let's take a look at the differences between the EF Parts camera kit and Skunk 2. And here's a look at them side by side. Very similar in build, even where the ball joint slides in with the opening at the bottom. A little bit different here, how the tops where the upper control arm bushings bolt in, but look very similar even where the, the joints are. It looks like a very, very similar shape and design. We're gonna test fitment on these to see if, make sure it doesn't rub on the frame rail. We know the Skunk 2 doesn't. And that's what I was curious about. I had messaged the owner, asked him if he had an issue with any fitment on these upper control arms rubbing anywhere. And the only reason I asked is because back in 2012, I had my sedan on Enki 92 wheels, and obviously those were a 15 by eight with a plus 25 offset. And I wanted to make sure that I wasn't rubbing the front tires on the fenders, so I rolled the fenders. And then I bought an eBay camber kit, which looked very similar in design to the one that EFparts.com was selling. Don't have any pictures of it, that was a little over like five and a half, close to six years ago. And so his price is very, very reasonable for the camera kit and after seeing it in person and holding it, seems like a very, very well-built design. So we're gonna just test fitment and I wanna make sure it fits on all of our cars very well and I think it's a, a great affordable upgrade compared to spending uh, the extra money for the Skunk 2 camera kit. And the reason I say I think it's affordable, if you've ever priced these, Generally, any given time of year, you can find them for about $190 shipped. Of course, during Black Friday, any other special events, you may save anywhere from $20 to $40 off, depending on the time of year. Whereas the EFparts.com looks like $69.99. <clears throat> you could get almost three kits of this compared to just one of the Skunk 2. So let's go ahead and uh, swap these out. Let's see if these fit on each other first, and then. I think it's only fitting enough that we're going to install this on my wagon, being that the owner of EFparts.com is a big wagon fan, and he has two uh, Civic wagons of his own. So let me get started on those. And before I get those installed, here's a look at the bottom side of the camber kit. Similar bracing on both, same hardware, both use the 5mm hex head socket. They do have the lock washers and the flat washers. If you're curious about interchangeability of ball joints, they fit perfectly. Here's the Skunk 2 ball joint on that arm. The, the bolts are exactly the same, the same thread pitch. So that would work if you wanted to buy Skunk 2 ball joints instead. Now these are a lot more expensive. You're looking at about $40 per ball joint. This seller sells them for only $24.99 for a pair. So essentially you get three pairs of these as compared to only one pair of those and they will work perfectly fine. Now, this ball joint doesn't work as well on the Skunk 2 arm because of the location here. It hits so you don't have full adjustability. But if you're using the Skunk 2 on this arm, you'll be okay. And here's what I mean when I talk about the adjustability or in terms of this, this would be increasing our positive camber. See how these are lined up? Now at the furthest possible outward position, you're obviously gonna get more positive camber with the Skunk 2 kit. As compared to this one, it already limits you in the amount you could go. That would be probably one of the only things I could suggest would be having a ball joint that's redesigned similar to the Skunk 2. Now if you're slamming your car and you're looking for the most negative camber, this is great. You can induce a lot of negative camber, which is probably gonna be very similar in the adjustment for both camber kits, but if you track your car, um, sometimes having to the ability to adjust it out a little bit further, this one might be a little bit more beneficial, but it really depends. You know, when I have an opportunity to get my wagon aligned, it's probably gonna be in another video, I will ask him to push the camber kit all the way out so we can see 
just how much camber it's correcting. Obviously, when I pull the upper control arm off, I'm gonna see where it lines up in relation to it, but so you only have a certain amount of adjustability on this camber kit, but obviously that's still gonna correct a decent amount of degrees. Cause sometimes you're only correcting from one to two degrees and that might be the difference is what you need right there. Where let's go two arm. You put this on here, you can see how much further it goes in comparison. So that's the only thing I think that's uh, missing from the EFparts.com arm so far. Now let me go ahead and remove mine off of my wagon and let's let's compare a stock upper control arm to both of these. If you're curious, here's a little look at the weight difference. The Skunk 2. Maybe like 2.7 pounds. One point one five pounds. Now even though this one was lighter, I think that's just attributed to see how wide the Skunk 2 one is. This one's a lot thinner. I went ahead and measured the thickness. And right here, what's well, about let me see, 5.6 it said. Let me remeasure it. 4.55 thickness. On this one, 4.58. So the thickness is very similar on the metal, but I just think this one has a little bit more width on the actual arms. And here's a look versus the OEM. I'm not gonna bore you with how to take off the upper control arm if you don't know how to, click in the upper link here. I have an old video that I did where I replaced a Skunk 2 camber kit on my track car. You can use that for reference on a DIY. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one set up onto the car and we're gonna test fitment with clearing the frame rail and just the adjustability of the ball joint. All right guys, I got it installed on my car. I got all the bolts and nuts started, just not tightened completely because I wanted to be able to rotate it. Now this was the main issue I had contacting them about, which was the frame rail up here. This is the plastic cover, but on the opposite side of that, the frame rail comes down. And on my sedan, I had removed the cover and the camber kit would hit, but this one looks like there's no fitment issues at all. It's gonna tuck all the way up, and of course it's gonna bottom out when it hits the top of the shock tower, which shouldn't be happening normally unless you're super low. But this camera kit fits perfectly on there. Now in terms of adjustability, we don't know the amount of degree, but there is some. I'm gonna leave it, I think I'm just gonna leave it centered because once I get the other side installed, I wanna get this car aligned as I've never done so. And I still need to tweak a couple of adjustments on the height of the car. I'm unsatisfied with where exactly each corner fits. So I'm just gonna leave it in the center. I'm gonna tighten it and then I will get it I will get it aligned and once I do and I can see how much adjustability it has, I'm not going to go ahead and make a video. It might be a month, it might be five months from now. I will update it in the description of the video or I'll leave a comment below. But the camera kit fits perfectly fine. Let me get everything bolted back up now. And that will be it for the camera kit installation. Let's get that spark plug wire cover installed on my B20 now. On my car currently, I have the eBay one, which I picked up for about $30 shipped. It's just stainless steel, and it mounts in these two positions. Really nice looking addition to these B20 valve covers. And here's that one from EF Parts. If you look at the thickness, this one is a lot thicker than the original one, so it's a little more heavy duty. It only has the one mounting point as compared to the two, but it looks like it should fit exactly the same. And here's that one installed. It fits very well, so it's a little more flush than that eBay one that I had on there. It's very easy to install. You just remove the nut and then put this extension in there, which screws onto the spot where the nut was. And then the supplied Allen, Allen head bolt, it slides right into that, bolts up, and it holds it into place. And on Mo's website, he has a couple of solid wrinkled black ones as well. 
I don't see these up for sale yet, but I know they will be available shortly. And so after seeing the camber kit and the spark plug wire cover, what do you guys think? You a fan of the camber kit and the wire cover? I personally like both. I think the camber kit is perfect for someone trying to fix their camber issues. Now if you're super low, trying to keep your car slammed or trying to fix camber, I don't know if it'll correct it enough. But I think maybe up to like two to two and a half degrees of camber correction, it should get the job done. And the spark plug wire cover looks great. It's a great addition to those B20 and the B18 engines. The non VTEC ones looks really sharp. Cool little upgrade. Of course, you can get the solid one if you want. It's also on his website. But if you haven't already, take a look at the, the website. You can go to efparts.com and it'll automatically take you to the efparts.bigcartel.com website. Go ahead and look through his site. He has a bunch of uh, random parts for sale test pipe, coilovers, brand new EF battery tie down. I know people like those. Steering wheels, here's the solid black wire cover. And just a handful of different parts. I'd love you guys to show some support for him. He has some really great parts on his website, some really nice parts that are needed for any kind of upgrades, even conversions to OBD1 it looks like, bottom end for a B18B1. But if you haven't already, go ahead and show him some love. He has an Instagram as well, EF Parts. And thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys like the video, hope you like the parts, and we will see you next time.